Good morning, everyone. My name is Teacher Carissa Grace Ideron, and I will be your teacher for today. Before we start, let's all bow down down our head and pray. Lord, help us to add our patience, abstract our sins, multiply our blessings, and divide our time to serve you. Amen. The name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Yes, good morning. Before we sit down, please arrange your chairs properly and pick up some pieces of papers. All right, thank you. So how are you, everyone? Wow, that's great to know. So, Miss Secretary, do we have us absent today? Yes, we don't have. Wow, great job. Very good, everyone. I'm so glad to be with you for today. So let's have a, uh, before we start a new lesson, let's recall what you, were our lesson yesterday. Yes, Kyra, our lesson yesterday is about, yes, graphs. What are the types of graphs, um, Kent? Yes, the types of graphs are line graph. A bar graph, pie graph, what else? Yes, anybody? All right, very good. Do you have any questions regarding our uh, previous lesson? None? That's great. All right, so let's start our new lesson. First, let's do this one. Let's play four picks, one word. Tell me what comes into your mind looking at this picture. There's, it is a six-letter word. And that is, yes, middle. Very good. Tundel. How about this one? Eilis, what do you think is the uh, word we're looking for? It's a three-letter word. Add. No. Something like more than that. Begins with letter S. Some. Yes, very good. It is some. Good job. Some. So anyone, um, J. Ward, what do you think would be a lesson for today? Yes, yes, that's right. Something about um middle position and yes, something about adding up. Yes, that's correct. So thank you for everyone. Now get one for sheet of paper in your calculators. Yes, I have here a set of data shows the grades of top seven grade seven sunflower students in their periodical test in mathematics last class quarter. Well, you all have just to follow, I'll copy the numbers, only the numbers, and then number your one fourth sheet of paper one to three because we're going to answer three easy, easy questions. So first question, what grade is typical to the group of students? So we say typical, the usual, the common. So it's, to do that, you have to, get the average yes you get the average of these numbers number two what grades appear to be in the middle so in this part when we say uh what grades appear to be in the middle you just have to arrange the let numbers here but since the numbers here are already arranged you just have to look for the middle value number three what grade frequently appears or what grade usually occurs in the data set Yes. Okay. Very good. You're done. Okay. Pass your papers forward. Okay. To the center, center aisle. Three, two, one. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Okay. So what grade? Let's answer your quiz. What grade is typical to the group of students? It's average. Yes. It's 92.14. What grades appears to be in the middle? So we have to arrange this since it's already arranged. So let's try. Um, let, uh, let's try to look for the middle value, and the middle value is it's ninety three. Very good, you got it. Good job. What grade frequently appears? It's also ninety three. Very good. So these numbers, what you did is something we'll work on in the our lesson for today. Because for today, our lesson is about the measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. Yes, that's correct. So what, um, please bear in mind that we need to be very careful and very attentive in this lesson because at the end of the lesson, you are asked to define the three central measures of central tendency 
to solve or calculate the mean, median, and mode, and then show appreciation to the value of mean, median, mode in real life situations. Okay? So let's start with the definition of the measures of central tendency. They are the values that attempt to describe a set of data by identifying the positions with that set of data. So the, the three major measures of central tendency are the mean, median, and the mode. They are the most common. And we are going to define also the word ungroup data. They are the group of data that is given as individual data points. Say, for example, a score of 15 students in exam and the grades of 10 students in mathematics. Now, let's move on to the measures of central tendency. The first one is the mean. The mean is what we call the average or the arithmetic mean. It is symbolized X bar. We put X and then put a bar in front of uh, at the top of it and read as x bar now mean is the summation of all data points that are the sum of all data points divided by the number of data points or in symbol we have here the summation of x divided by n or the sum of all data points divided by the total data of data points okay let's have some examples so the grade of grade 7 students in math were 80 81 83 3 and 84. So to solve that, we have to analyze and substitute all these numbers to the uh, equation we have, which is main is equal to the sum of all data points divided by the number of data points. So we have 80 plus 81 plus 83 plus 84 divided by 4 is equal to 82. Hence, the average data or uh, the mean of the grades of grade 7 students is 82. How about number 2? Let's have this one. The five players of the basketball team have scores of 10, 15, 20, 10, and 25. What is the mean of this data? Yes, who wants to try? Who wants to try? Okay. Remarks. What are the datas? Yes, we have 10, 15, 20, 10, and 25. What should we do with the data to find the mean? Okay, very good. We need to add the data. And then, what happened after? We are, after adding the data, we, yes, we divide the, by the number of data points. How many data points we have? We have four. Therefore, the answer is, 80 divided by 5 equals 16. Very good remarks. Okay, let's move on to the next um, cent measures of central tendency, which is the median. When we say median, what comes into your mind? Yes, the middle value. Very good. Or the middle. So how do we get the middle value or how to find the middle value? So there are two ways to get the middle value. First, I will teach you the first one which is just to arrange the data in order from least to greatest. Let's say, for example, find the median of the given data 10, 15, 20, 10, and 25. So the first thing we do is to, yes, arrange the data points. After arranging the data points, you can now look for the middle value. And looking at this one, the middle value is 15. So, and arranging the let numbers, yes, it's always, always, we always do arrange the let numbers. But it's easier to find the median if our given uh, number of data points are in odd numbers. So we can easily find the middle value. Okay, how about the other one? 28, 35, 15, 12, and 18. What is the median? All right, so easy. Arrange it. And then you got the median. Because it's still odd numbers of data points. The answer is yes, 18. The median is 18. How about these data points? 80, 80, 83, 84, 85, 87, 88, 89, 90, 94. What is the median? Okay, let's count how many numbers we have. So first, let's yes, arrange the letter and the numbers. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we have 10 data points. So in this uh, in this part, oh, what do you think is the median? There's no median? Are you sure? Well, since our numbers here or our median falls into two different numbers or halfway between 85 and 87, the trick here is to 
look for the mean of these two numbers. So, 85 plus 87 divided by 2, we have 86. So, the median is 86. That's right. So, this only happens if we have even numbers, okay? Even numbers. So, if we have even numbers, we get the median of those two middle numbers. And then if, if we have add, immediately just look for the middle numbers or value. But first and foremost is to arrange the numbers. Now, we have the mode. Yes, the mode of measures of central tendency. When we say the mode, this is the value that occurs more often in the data set. So, it always appears in the data set, the numbers or the value. So, there are types of modes. We have no mode or a data having equal frequency of observation. Unimodal, a data having one mode. Bimodal, a data having two modes. And multimodal, a data having more than two modes. So, that those are examples, I don't know, the types of modes. Now, let's, let's go. And some examples, let's have some examples of modes. Number one, one, two, and three. What is the mode? <laughs> of course, there's no mode in this. All data have the same number of a uh, number or data. So no mode. Number two, one, one, two, three. What is the mode? Yes, it's one. What's the type of mode? It's yes, unimodal. How about number two uh, number three? One, one, two, two, three. Yes, the modes are one and two, and it is bimodal. Very good. How about number four? One, one, two, two, three, three, four. What are the modes? What is the mode? Or what are the modes of this uh, no, group of data? Yes, the modes are one, two, and three. What do we call this type of mode? It's the? Yes, multimodal. Very good. So do you have any questions regarding the three measures of central tendency? No? That's great. So what was again? Okay, before we have our group activity, let's have first, um, tell me first, what do you mean by mean? Okay, yes, Carol. Yes, very good. Yes, Carol. Sana. Median. Oh, no. Mean is, yes, the sum of all data points divided by the number of data points. Very good. That's correct. How about median? Okay. Michael. Yes. Median is the middle value. How do we find the median? Yes. We need to arrange the numbers. And then look for the middle value. What if we got an odd, oh no, no, an even numbers of data points? Yes, that's correct. We need to look for or find or cal calculate the mean of the two um, middle values that we found. Very good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Carol, again, what are modes? Modes are? The numbers occur frequently in the data sets. And we have how many types of modes? Four. No modes, unimodal, bimodal, and multimodal. Very good. So I think you are all ready for our group activity. Group yourselves into nine, group, uh, into nine members and then answer these following questions. So... You have five minutes to collect the data from your group mates and ask the following questions and record the data. First, what is your shoe size? Find the mean, median, and the mode. And the second one is what is your age? Find the mean, median, and the mode too. Okay, you've got five minutes. All right, if you are done. Okay, thank you everyone for your efforts. All your answers are correct. Very good. That's so easy, right? Now, let's have a quiz. Find the mean, the median, and the mode. Get a hand, one half, no, no, you need a whole sheet of paper for this. So, we, you are going to answer these questions, three questions. And... 
this one.